Dr. Fizz, theoretical physics, a consideration of the general spin eigenstates. And to do that, we're going to consider a general form for the Pauli matrices where we take a dot product with an arbitrary uh, direction. You might recall that when we consider the sigma sub z Pauli matrix, we have the eigenstates spin up and spin down. And we want to do this in general. So we go here to spherical coordinates. And in physics classes, the theta is defined this way and phi. And we're going to let r be 1. And if r is 1, we can think of this as a little unit vector right here, r hat or n hat. We'll use n hat for the notation. And this little unit vector has neat properties. If we look at, for example, the z component for this vector is cosine of theta. Let's look at this a little bit more in general. Here, if you have this arrangement, you have a door here. Think of this as a door. So if you have this door here, then 1 times the cosine of theta gives you the height of the door, which is this height here. And 1 times the sine of theta gives you the top of the door, which is the same as the bottom of the door. So rho is sine of theta, and this height is cosine of theta. You can also think of rho and phi as being polar coordinates in the xy plane. And there, x is given by rho cosine of phi, and y is given by rho sine of phi. But remember, rho is sine of theta. So if that's the case, then rho being sine of theta, rho being sine of theta, we put the sine of theta twice, and then here is your cosine of phi for your x, and your sine of phi working with the rho for your y, and your z is cosine of theta. So we have the general unit vector, and we dot that with the Pauli uh, spin matrices as a vector. In other words, we set this up as a sigma sub x i hat plus sigma sub y j hat plus sigma sub z k hat and then when you do the dot product i dot i gives you one j dot j and gives you one and k dot k so you simply have the x component of the unit vector with the poly matrix for that direction sigma sub x then you have the y component of the unit vector with sigma sub y and the z component with sigma sub z and we can figure this out by looking at the matrix uh, multiplied out in each case, you note that the cosine theta and minus cosine theta give you a diagonal uh, component here, up or left, lower right cosine theta and minus cosine theta. For your off diagonal components, they come from the first two. Notice that the sine of theta is in common here to both of these, so I'm going to factor out sine of theta. Lower left is easy, cosine of phi plus i sine of phi. And the upper one here, cosine of phi minus i sine of phi. When you use the Euler formula, you can replace cosine phi plus i sine phi with e to the i phi. And if you flip the uh, sine on that phi, the uh, cosine of negative phi will simply be cosine phi. That won't change. But since the sine is an odd function, you'll get the minus sine out in front. So that's a nice result. And we come here to do the eigenvalue problem. The eigenvalue problem is set up by having our matrix hit the spinner and get the same spinner back with an eigenvalue. Remember our trick here, you uh, subtract the diagonal component uh, for the diagonal components, you subtract the lambda. So you have minus lambda, minus lambda. We did that trick earlier. And then make the determinant vanish. So when you do that, think of this as a minus b and forget the minus sign. This is a plus b. So you have the difference times the uh, sum. You get a squared cosine squared theta minus b squared minus the lambda squared. And now put your minus sign back in. Here it is out in front. And then you have this product sine squared theta with the minus sign because you're subtracting and finding the determinant. Notice that e to the plus i phi times e to the minus i phi will be e to the zeroth power which is one so they go away. And we get uh, this nice uh, result that if you uh, look at this uh, solution here by simply multiplying through by minus 1 minus cosine squared theta plus lambda squared minus sine squared theta and then bring the trigonometric functions to the right hand side you get cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta hey that's 1 and the lambda is plus or minus 1 the same result we got when we looked at the sigma sub x eigenvalue problem this happens to be true in general
So let's find one of the eigenvectors. Let's find the one where the eigenvalue is plus one. So I'm going to use here the friendlier A and B for my upper and lower components. And here this matrix operating on A and B gives the same thing back with the plus one. We have two conditions here, two equations. Cosine theta times A plus sine theta e to the minus i phi times the B has to equal to A and sine theta e to the i phi times a minus cosine theta b has to equal to b. Now I'm going to use the top equation here and solve for the ratio b over a and I have my normalization condition which uh, will give me my other equation I need because I have two equations with two unknowns then. So let's do that. The upper equation here we just got pull that right off. Here it is. Just copy down here with the a and then we uh, solve it for the ratio and we subtract the a cosine theta and, and pull out the a and then we divide by the a here and then divide by the sine theta and divide by this exponential which then flips the sign over here. Well we're getting close to understanding the secret of spinners because half angles are going to show up here and let's review some trig identities. We derived these two identities earlier in our course Here's the cosine and the sine for the sum of the angles. If we let the angles e be equal, as so that we have here cosine of two theta, we then have cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta. And if we do that with the sine, we get this one. I wrote this one first because this one's uh, popular in projectile motion physics encountered. Uh, sine of two theta equals two sine theta cosine theta in this fashion. And then if you uh, look at the theta where you have theta over 2 you can simply let theta go to theta over 2 and get these half angles down in here and these are nice to have in our bag of tricks. So we look for here the summary uh, b over a is this uh, this is the summary we have these two uh, forms that we're ready to put in here and hope that it simplifies but we get a bonus here because the bonus is 1 minus cosine theta 1 minus cosine theta is 1 minus all this stuff. Well, 1 minus all that stuff is 1 minus cosine squared theta and minus a minus gives you a plus here. But what is this here? This is one of these. So 1 minus cosine theta is 2 sine squared theta over 2. So we're going to replace this top with 2 sine squared theta over 2 and then we're going to replace this bottom with 2 times the product with one of each. So if we do that here, there's your sine squared theta over 2. Uh, in the numerator, where we said we would replace that with 2 sine squared theta over 2, we have done that. And we said we would replace the sine of theta with 2 and then the product of one of each with the half angles. So when you do that, you get the b over a uh, is nicely uh, found with the sine of theta over 2 canceling one of the sine of theta over 2's here. So you have, well actually that's a tangent of theta over 2. I want to leave it in this form because I want to go ahead and just pull off the A and the B in the most uh, simple fashion. A is cosine of theta over 2 and B is this top part, the sine of theta over 2 with the exponential going with it. And I'm finished because if I take the uh, normalization condition A star A plus B star B, I already have one this is real, so a star a is cosine squared theta over 2. When I take b star b, the exponential goes away because the b star will give me an e to the minus i phi. When I hit the e to the plus i phi with it, it gets to be 1, and then I just simply have the sine squared theta over 2, so cosine squared sine squared gives me 1. We are normalized. There's the eigenvector. We are finished. A very, very nice result. And if you were to look at the lower component equation here, you can arrive at the same result. That's a neat little thing to do. And if you set up the negative eigenvalue problem, you can arrive at this solution. A nice little exercise to do. It goes quite quickly because you already have seen one and the steps are very, very similar. So here is our summary. Our summary is we have the spin up relative to this strange axis of some linear combination of you know our regular one, zero, and zero, one. And here we have the spin down case along that arbitrary direction. If we define the dual of this, what is that? Well, if you take the uh, Hermitian conjugate, remember Hermitian conjugate, you exchange rows and columns. Uh, well, uh, 
basically you uh, have no off diagonal components here so if you generalize that to just a column uh, vector you just simply flip it like this and put the complex conjugate down that's kind of what the definition is for a matrix where you take the off diagonal components and, and swap them so uh, you take a column and make it a row and take the complex conjugate because if we do that we can use the regular form of matrix multiplication when you multiply a row matrix with a column matrix you take the left one with the top one and then the right one with the bottom one and you add those products if you do that here you get e to the plus i phi times you know a sine of the cosine minus the sine of cosine with e i phi and you get zero these are orthogonal and that's really neat to see that because we have seen this idea of eigenstates being orthogonal before and to make it work you have to think of the dot product like of two vectors in a more general way where you form the complex conjugate here say before you take your dot product so it's like say this uh, here take a star here and then multiply the corresponding components and then you will get zero see as is now you wouldn't get zero because either minus i phi e to plus i phi messes you up but if you take the star first then when you multiply the respective components you get zero so that's neat the eigenstates are orthogonal